Hey everyone, Lauren here from Air Guns of Arizona and today we're going to be taking a look at some PRS pieces. Today we're going to be taking a look at this PRS extended rail for the Day State Red Wolf and I'm going to show you how to install this. First off, uh, the Red Wolf extended rail is something really nice because there's not a whole lot of space on the bottom of a Red Wolf to mount stuff to. You know, it's a traditional wooden stock made by Minelli. It's absolutely gorgeous um, and it looks really, really good. It's some really smooth lines to it, but it makes it a pain to mount anything to. If you want to put a sling on this, put a bipod on this or anything like that, you know, you got to drill into your stock and a lot of people just don't like to do that. So cue the PRS extended rail. Now the PRS extended rail is really, really cool because it has a Picatinny rail that's all the way extended to the end right there. Um, then from there, it moves to a UIT slide in rail. So if you have like a hand stop or something like that for a sling, which you want a quick detach on the sling, you can just slide it into the back here and that's very easy to use. From there, we have a swivel stud for the sling. Then it slopes nicely here to the back end, and this back end is actually Arca. So I have two bipods here, and I'll go and show you. It slides on right there and clamps on perfectly. And then I also have a Picatinny bipod, and this fits right into the end right there and clamps on perfectly. So let's jump into the installation of this. All you need is an eight millimeter Allen wrench to get your stock bolt off. And all we're gonna do is just remove the stock bolt, but we're not gonna remove the stock. So you can keep everything attached. Remember that your battery wire is in here. So don't separate your action from your stock because you'll rip your battery wire off down there. If you want to, you can take it out, but right now I'm just gonna keep it uh, attached like this. Remember to remove your dust cover because it's gonna make it quite hard to get to. Then all we're gonna do is just put it on the end right there. We're supplied with an extended bolt right here. So you just use the extended bolt that's supplied. And that just replaces the bolt screw on the bottom. Tighten it up nicely and you're good to go. We also have a new extended dust cap that's magnetic and it fits nicely in there. This hole is cut open really nice and big, so you can easily get your fingers in there, take that off and put your fill, uh, fill hose back in there. And there you guys have it. The extended PRS rail for the Day State Red Wolf right here installed, and it just works absolutely flawlessly. I'll go ahead and mount this back on here so you can kind of see how it works. Back here, you'll typically mount a, uh, a tripod to it, not really a bipod, but if you wanted it all the way back there, you could just mount it like that. Easy as pie. Well, there we guys have it. This is the extended rail for the Day State Red Wolf and uh, made by PRS, made by Precision Rifle Systems out of the UK. Please be sure to check out some of our other PRS videos that we have following here for the Day State Red Wolf, um, as well as some other videos we have on our channel. Remember to like, click, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.